Hello, 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 everyone. Happy, happy Sunday. This is Sharon Herbert. I'm coming to you from Power in Nursing Innovations. Wow. And this is already Sunday at Power Time. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And hope you all can say yes I've had a happy new year because we're now in 2023 and nursing is still rocking. Nursing is still rocking. So if you all are listening today, we're saying welcome and happy new year. And if you catch us on a replay, we'll still say welcome and happy new year. So, what's up with you today at Power Time? Every week, every week we come to you with what's going on in the world of nursing. And if you ever decide that you're going to join us, we are so happy that you do. As well, don't forget that you can reach us by Facebook, and you can ask questions or share comments each and every day. We'll see them during the week and we'll answer your questions for you. So what's happening in your life? And I think my questions for the day are about you. So it's all about nursing. We are still in the place and space where nurses are still almost the lifeline of healthcare. Now we know that we are part of the health team and yes, yes, a big, big part of the health team, but a big, big part that they can't do without. So how can we manage to solve some of the problems that we still encounter with our own profession and our career of nursing. Staffing shortages continue. And as of ooh, early December, I'll give it that, early December, we heard news of the triple-demic. Prior to that, you know, we had the fall flu and flu actually usually started in the winter but it started in the fall we had rsv the children had then staff a and we still have because it never left covid so what can we do because as i know and you know Information is power. So the more we know, the more truth and science that we can take in and understand gives us an opportunity to make changes, solutions and changes. And now we are at 2023. And again, happy, happy new year. We have got to make some changes in healthcare. And we must start with nursing. We know about nursing. We know the challenges and the problems, the barriers, the stressors. We know what they are. And we know how to solve them. We are still reading daily in the news about the numbers of patients that have COVID, the number that are going in to the ER, the number that aren't getting vaccines, the numbers that still aren't wearing masks, or even my worst nightmare is people not washing their hands. We're still having these same, same challenges. And as we have always talked about stressors and burnout, for nurses and nurses leaving the profession since the COVID-19 pandemic is still alive 
Now we're hearing similar things about doctors. Doctors having burn out and leaving the profession and or not being replaced. It's almost like, you know, nursing and new grads. The folks that are coming into nursing, the numbers are decreased and the same for physicians. Primary care providers are just fleeting and they're not being replaced in the med school roles. The care that is being sought to apply to for physicians are specialty practices. Now, why, why would that be? It's the same thing that we hear about for nurses, where the money is. Yes, nurses today are doing traveling and they are doing a specialty practice where they can get more money per hour and contracts give you another option to have a boost to your salary or your contract agreement and folks are choosing that now no problem with that no problem at all but who is going to be providing the care if like nursing general practice for physicians is just going by the wayside. I heard a, a quick message from a physician, and I'm sure this is probably more than one, who says that they aren't going into general practice because of the option and opportunity for more specialties and bigger contracts, but they feel that they're not quite able to serve their patients in general practice as well as they would like to because they don't have the backup. They don't have the number of people in their practice if they were going to be in general practice. Maybe they could only or would only hire one nurse, one receptionist, and that they wouldn't get the reimbursement from their insurances or the patient's insurances. So these are realities that are, if you didn't know, they are not under a stone. We've got to know what's going on in our practice, yes, but also in the practices of our team members. You know, we're part of that healthcare team. So what can you know about what's going on in the system that affects you, nurses? What affects you? And how can the numbers of sick, sick, sick patients coming into the ERs affect you when you work on med surge? When you work on the med surge floor and there's a pandemic. When you work in the rehab organizations and there's a pandemic and you've gotten to places where the staffing is still not what it needs to be to take best care of the patients and you're on lockdown. Your, your staff members are short and some get sick themselves and they're not able to be a part of the team with you. And you've gone from four nurses on a night in the nursing home that you've been in for the last you know, four or five years. And you've enjoyed caring for your patients and working together with your team. But now you have those same 30 patients and two nurses. Wow. Well, that's a challenge. So my question for you is how long will you stay? 
How long will you stay in the place where there are continued challenges with staffing, not enough supplies, not enough nurses aides, not enough time to get to lunch or to get your notes written before the end of your shift because you shouldn't be writing your notes at the end of the shift and especially if you have 10 patients because somebody's going to have a problem. Either it's going to be you and the time that it takes for you to write those notes. Will you get out on time every day, any day? Will you get out on time? Will you get to see your family every evening? Your shift ends at seven and your kids are waiting at home for you to tell you about the dinosaurs that they created in their time when they had show and tell. They wanted to show the pictures of the dinosaurs that they looked up on YouTube. And they drew some great pictures of the dinosaurs. But it's nine o'clock now and you're still at work doing notes. Because so much happened today that you didn't have a chance to write your notes at the time when events happened at work. You got behind once again. So what can we do? Because like I say, information is power. How can we solve these problems? Because you know, I know, and you know that you are a nurse. And that means that you have the power to make change in your practice. Now, we are going to always follow the laws and guidelines because that's what we do. But when are you going to write your notes? Do you think that after the end of that 12 hour shift, it's going to be feasible for you to share a good note about what happened with your patients today? 10 patients writing notes in the evening, it's going to be a challenge. You want to keep your patient safe and yourself safe. And once again, I say, how long are you going to do this? We've got to make some changes in our practice and what we do, the best things that we can do is make sure we understand what is going on. If you don't have supplies, does your manager know? Does your supervisor know? Does the CEO of the organization know? Not, they don't know? Why? Why is it? You've got to save yourself. And while you are saving yourself, you are saving your patients and your colleagues. So we must share the information that we have in order to make a change. And that is the bottom line. Or you will go down with the ship. You know, the captain goes down with the ship. You'll go down with the ship. And nothing will change in the organization and your patients as well will not be well. So what can we do? One thing we can do for sure is sharing the information and the challenges with your leaders. Your health leaders are responsible for overseeing the practice in the organization. So they must know what's going on. You must tell them because really 
you want to do a great job and you want to get out on time to see your children at home before they go to sleep. You've got to have a life yourself. And you've got to share this information, not only with your leaders, but with your colleagues. We can't hide this stuff under a blanket. It's not going to serve you well, nor your colleagues, nor your patients. And we've got to tell people what is going on. What do you hear on the news about what's going on with nursing? We hear that the challenges of COVID are still there, but not too much talk these days about the stressors for nursing providers and what's going to be done about that. We hear that nurses are leaving nursing. No one really shares the rest of the story. And what else do we hear? In the state of New York, you hear about the looming strike, nursing strike, and how terrible it is for nurses to go on strike. And you've heard about the traveling nurses and how terrible it is that they got so much money for the work that poor little nurses do. How could they? How could they get that much money? Because we deserve it. That's why we should get what we are due. Traveling nurses cannot just easily be replaced. The nurses at any bedside cannot easily be replaced. And you have gone to school quite a long time in order to get that license to provide that specific practice that nurses are responsible for. Yeah, no, the maid can't do this. The maid can't do any of what we do. No, not at all. And you can't get a new nurse out of the closet or out of the, you know, blow up, blow up doll box. <laughs> you can't get a nurse there. So we've got to stand for ourselves, what we do. Because you know what? People still don't know what we do. They think that we make beds, give shots, bring trays, answer the phone you, and you know we don't want to keep going there because because the power rn is going to be screaming over here about what people think about us we've got to share and tell them who we are and what we do and that is my message for today and remember you don't have a sticker on your forehead i know Unfortunately, people don't know what you do, so you've got to tell them and tell them clearly who you are and what you do. Your patients, T.S., should know who you are and what you do. If they are irresponsible, so are you. If they don't ask and you don't tell, so are you irresponsible. So help them know who you are and what you do and share that proudly. It's not a curse. So help them to know who you are. Partner with your patients, TS, like you partner with your friends when you say, okay, we're going to meet at, you know, the, the uh, wine and dine place at 6 p.m. But now you're still stuck and writing notes. You got to step up your pace and get your work done and you need to invest in yourself and some other ways to understand how you can get your work done safely and successfully and some ways include communication and partnering with your team members and your patients. 
if your patients know what your schedule is and you need to let them know, you can partner with them for the times that you need to give medications or you're bringing trays or the aide is bringing trays or you're calling the doctor or you're on rounds to find out what the plan is for Ms. Jones for discharge today. Let your patients know so that they can partner with you to get your work done and their service done well and on time. And we're sharing that in a book. Power in Nursing Innovations is sponsoring an anthology project. And the story is one of COVID and what our COVID experiences have been. And it's not just for nurses who've taken care of COVID patients, but for nurses who may even have created some new ideas in getting work done on time, in how to stock the supplies, on how to restock the supplies, and not waste time running around looking for things that aren't there. That's an easy solution. You make it yourself because you know that not having enough supplies every day or every week makes your work even tougher and it takes even longer. So let's share our pluses and our milestones and our best experiences with each other things that have been created successfully, how your team has worked together to look at the schedule, and maybe you can switch days with someone who loves working Fridays and you work there Mondays. You can do these things that can make your life better because your work doesn't come out of a box Yes, there's a symptom or similar sign of being a recipe, but let's make it work for us so that this cake comes out well and we all enjoy it. So join us on our project, the Nursing Anthology Project. Not all nurses, not all nurses will join, but it is not just for the ones on the front line. If you've had a great idea of something that helped your team get through this COVID mess, let us know. Send me an email, Sharon H at powerinnursing.com and let me know that you're interested in knowing more about the Anthology Project. And I will tell you straight out for sure, your solutions will save another nurse's life. We don't get a chance to read everything or see or hear everything. But if you've come up with a good way or idea to do something, share it with one of your colleagues. They will be forever, ever grateful. And This is also a good way to promote our nursing family in the health system strata. People will hear good and great things about nursing and they'll want to join us. Our team needs to continue to grow and growing together with the most brilliant minds on earth. And that's a nurse. We love you and we love nursing here at Power in Nursing Innovations. We want to continue to promote the growth of the best career path in the healthcare system. So if you have questions or comments, share them with us at Power in Nursing Innovations. You can find us on Facebook. LinkedIn, 
Instagram, and Twitter. Comments and questions are always, always welcome. We thank you for joining us today. Again, enjoy your best year. This is a new year. We are starting with our best year. We will reimagine our practice, recharge, and reshape the future of nursing. So come with me on that journey. All, not all nurses are going to do that. So share it with a brilliant nurse colleague. We love you and we will see you next time at Power Time. So be well, be safe, my friends, and successful. And reimagine your quest to complete your journey in nursing. And thank you for joining us at Power Time. Be well, be well, be well. Be blessed and stay safe.